this is not water this is literally sweat you know like <laughs> sweaty hands why am i sweating so much like this has caused me the most embarrassment in my life <gasps> and then i did one thing that really 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 changed the game for underarm sweating for me hello Hi, I'm Sacha. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be doing this video because not only was it super highly requested, but also I never imagined that I would one day be okay enough with my excessive sweatiness, let alone talk about it on the internet. So it, this feels like a win for my younger self. All of you people who sweat a lot, don't worry. I have all the tips, the tricks that I've used, my coping mechanisms, and a lot of stories to share. So. Let's get into the video. I thought I would make this video as authentic as possible and do it without any fan, AC, nothing, so that you can see me sweat through the video as it's going through. Already, as I'm saying this, I can feel a tingling in my face and my hands because right now my hands are completely dry. But I know as the video goes on, it'll start sweating. So <laughs> you can see in real time what it's like being an ultra sweaty person and how I manage. Before I get into the tips and tricks and all that, I really want to talk about my experiences um, as a sweaty person growing up because one thing I've learned through this YouTube channel is that A, we all have a lot of similar experiences. We just don't talk about it enough and then we feel like we are all alone in this. But in the past when I've shared, you know, some experiences from my life and I've seen your comments and I've seen all of you sharing your stories and connecting with each other, that's made me feel like Wow, I have, there are so many people like me out there. I hope sharing these embarrassing stories will help you somehow. And again, like I'm, re I really, really appreciate all of you. I've been so open and so kind and helpful in the comment sections in all the past videos. If you relate to this also, and if you have a story to share, definitely do comment. And I really enjoy reading all of your comments. So thanks. <laughs> but in my family, I am the sweatiest overall like my my parents my siblings they all sweat of whatever but not as much as I do so I growing up I never had someone I could talk to and be like oh my god like you sweat so much I sweat so hard like how do you handle how do you deal with it so it was something I figured out on my own in fact it was in school I remember first time I realized I was a sweaty person you know in school we had these white shirts okay and I used to sweat and I used to get these patches and at that time the only other people who had those moon <laughs> dark patches under their arms were the teachers because they are spending the whole day standing around, running around children. You know, they are stressed, they are working really hard. So they were sweating. So a lot of my friends would be like, hey, you look like Miss Only, your armpits look like Miss Only. Suddenly I became very conscious and I would try to hide my underarms. And I was also confused, like, why am I sweating so much? Why are my friends not sweating as much as I am? The second thing was, um, especially if you have sweaty hands and you start writing with ink pens in school, it is such a pain. And especially if you are left-handed, worst combination ever, because when you're writing, you're resting your hand on the paper, right? So the paper is already damp. As you're writing, everything gets smudged along the way. It looks like spider web, spider web, spider web. Worst was exam time, because that's when your handwriting really matters. You're also nervous because it's an exam, so you sweat more. So my whole page used to be like cloth, like I don't even know how to what words I can use to describe to how damp the paper used to be. My solution to that would be to carry a hanky everywhere. I used to fold up my hanky like this, keep my hand like this on the paper and then write. And then it became like a running joke that, you know, everybody knew me as the girl with the hanky under the hand because they thought I'm writing so fast and need something to protect my hand. But no, it was just that <laughs> my hand was so sweaty. And I was so relieved when we finally shifted to using ball pens. I think that was in high school. So for three, four years of my life in school, it was only tension of hoping that my hands will not smudge the ink. And then of course have like full blue, blue, blue all under your arm. <sighs> but even with ball pens, though the ink doesn't smudge, the paper still gets really wet. So your paper looks weirdly stiff and goopy and the texture changes so even when the invigilators are collecting the paper they look at the paper like 
what happened in your like <laughs> sweaty hands <laughs> what else can you do i didn't understand like why is this happening to me how can i control it why am i sweating so much like it used to be so irritating for me then later on in college my sweating became so legendary that my friends used to call me slippy because i used to wear chappals okay to college and when i was walking up a slope i would literally slide down because my feet were sweating so much i had zero grip so all of these things i have gone through okay and i i know it's very difficult and as i'm talking look this is not water this is literally sweat this is me i think how many minutes into talking like 10 minutes into talking this is how sweaty i get you can see my face sweaty 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 and all this is just to tell you that it happens there are a lot of us i realized in the comments in the previous video that there are a lot of us who have excessive sweating so let's get into how we resolve it so first the face i know having a sweaty face is very annoying but honestly one of the greatest benefits it has had for me is my face always looks like it's glowing no matter what okay summer winter any time i look like i have a nice glow on my face and honestly it's just sweat <laughs> and it's just i have oily skin so combination of that and when the light falls on it it looks like extra glowy and bouncy and hydrated and shiny but that's just sweaty face okay usually if my face is very sweaty i always carry a tissue with me and i just dab 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 and i just quickly just dab it and it's fine one product that i've seen a lot of people use to combat especially with oily face is this um volcanic stone roller by Revlon I got this in the US but I'm pretty sure you get it on Amazon. It's like a stone like this you just rub it on your face. Let me do one half. Can you see like this side is completely matte and this side is still oily and shiny. This is still shiny but not as much as this. So it removes like it actually does work. It removes a lot of the oil. Um and if you want a more matte look for your face, like this has been really helpful. You can also get these oil blotting sheets. Um I personally haven't used them, but I know of people who have and it suits them really well. Another trick is to add compact or powder to your face. I use the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Natural Beige. So I just use a brush like this. I mix it up tap out the excess it just sets your face avoids it from getting extra oily you know a lot of boys also watch this channel and if you're feeling shy about this kind of powder don't be because you can barely make out that it's on the face but i do have an alternate um, solution for you as well for me balancing the sweatiness of my face has had a lot to do with changing the kind of products that i use so when i was growing up as a teenager i didn't know differences of any sunscreen moisturizer anything i didn't i didn't know about ingredients formulation blah 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 whatever my sister had that only i used but now i've realized that especially if you have a sweaty face and you live in a humid area then it's best to use very light gel based products i'll just take you through uh, some of the summer friendly sweat friendly products that i use i always I prefer washing my face with a gel cleanser. These are a couple of face washes that I would recommend. I follow that up with a serum. During the day, I like very light water-like serum. So currently, I'm using this. I'm using this Cosrx Six Peptide Skin Booster. It has hyaluronic acid, NAG, and amino acids. It helps even skin tone, hydrating, firming, smoothing, pore and sebum care, and improves skin texture. It's very water-like. Absorbs into the skin like magic. Next I follow it up with a light moisturizer. Currently I'm using the Cosrx Oil-Free Ultra Moisturizing Lotion with Birch Sap. This has been so good in terms of moisturizing my face and leaving a nice glow without it feeling oily or heavy or thick. Cost-wise it's a bit more expensive, but if you want something in the budget range, the Pons uh blue gel dabba. I've used that and it's quite good and quite light. During the day I use very light moisturizers. At night I use the heavier ones um to just keep up the hydration of my skin. And of course the last step is always sunscreen. I've spoken about the Requil Dry Touch Matte sunscreen so many times. Apart from that also I love the Sunscoop one. The Sunscoop Invisible one absorbs into the skin very well. And the third alternative I can give you is the SPF Juice by Fay Beauty. 
uh, face skin. I recently got this and it's been really nice and it leaves an amazing glow on your face without feeling too heavy. F sunscreen that I used to use a lot was the Neutrogena Sunblock and I know it's a good sunscreen but just the texture did not suit my face. It felt very thick and heavy and when I would sweat, I would feel like it's dripping off my face, like the cream was dripping off. So it just did not suit my sweaty, oily skin. So if you are trying sunscreen or moisturize etc for the first time and you feel like it's too heavy on your skin, it's too, you know, it's not suiting you and you stop using it, just know that you're probably not using the right one for your skin type. Uh, but do not skip on using moisturizer sunscreen. Yes, even if you're as sweaty as I am, you still need moisturizer. I've seen a huge difference in my face once I've started using moisturizer regularly because earlier I would look so tired and if I was sweating, I looked exhausted i would look terrible like <laughs> i would look okay so <laughs> trust me moisturizing and sunscreen is very very important um just try these products and i hope that they work out for you they're all linked in the description if you want to try them out another factor i want to talk about is um makeup so because i have oily sensitive sweaty skin and i keep touching my face with tissue so often i keep dabbing 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 um i prefer not to put foundation or skin tints even on a day-to-day -day basis i feel like somehow it irritates my skin so i only wear them during like special occasions or weddings or functions like that for my day-to-day -day, i just put a concealer um i just dab in some areas and then just leave them be and also <clears throat> one thing i've realized is if you invest in your skincare really well then you will have to pay almost zero for makeup and so that's my girl math for you on how to save money you save so much time every day not like doing all the blending and the dabbing and the contouring and all of that jazz of course if you want to do it still your choice but generally like you don't need it to correct or, or even tone your face as much if you have a good skincare routine next let's talk about sweaty hands now in the past when i've told people that i have sweaty hands they've always said why don't you try botox or you know uh, treatments like that or some laser treatment and all that and while that might sound good, it honestly always scares me to try out treatments like that because A, I know it's not permanent and I have to keep doing it. And B, like I'm just generally very scared of injecting things into my body um, unless it's super, super, super necessary, like medically necessary. <laughs> I'm a big scaredy cat that way. And so for my sweaty hands, the only solution I have again is having a tissue, carrying a tissue with me or a hanky. I used to carry hankies a lot earlier but they would get so like wet on the point I was only adding more sweat to my hand every time I would hold it. So I found that tissues, I know they are a waste like you use and throw but in emergency situations these are the best. Um, just carry them in your bag and then before you have to shake someone's hand or do anything you just dab the tissue like this, blow and then dab and this three-step method has been very helpful for me at events especially if i know i have to shake someone's hand i always um, just tap my hands on my um, dress to make sure it's just dried a little bit i realized that the easiest thing to manage the situation with sweaty hands is to just be upfront and laugh and let you make a joke about it and be like oh, oh sorry my hand is so sweaty then still if the person wants to shake your hand then it's on them okay and they do good <laughs> and you're like sorry but um, that's the only way like I mean you can't help it it's your body producing the sweat and uh, rather than seeing a disgusted look on their face later on or them gossiping you just be upfront and be like sorry my hands are sweaty one more thing I want to tell you is um, you know you get very conscious about sweaty hands especially if you want to hold someone's hand in a romantic sense or even like I've not held my friend's hands for the longest time because I used to feel so like they'll feel disgusted by my sweaty hands. So I just grew up being a non-touchy person. A lot of my, like, you know, generally, like you just hold hands or you like uh, sit and you like high five or whatever. Like a lot of those things I have not done because I thought my friends would get grossed out. I've realized that, especially with romantic partners, uh, if someone really wanted to hold your hand, they would hold your hand even if it was sweaty or not. So don't worry about that don't get stressed about it and if you're feeling so embarrassed about it tissue <laughs> do like this be like oh, one minute one minute darling do like this and be in your hands <laughs> that's the only option 
places where it has become a legit problem for me is whenever I had had to do any fingerprint testing etc. Anytime you have to go through immigration especially and you have to do that fingerprint thing because you have sweaty fingers it gets smudged it doesn't read properly and then there's a problem so again tissue like this calm down like calm down your body so that you're not feeling as nervous and then use the fingerprint thing but I just want to mention this one incident I gone for a biometric um, thing for a visa here in Singapore and I saw the fingerprint thing and I was like oh no not again like not this again and I had to do all fingers separately okay so 10 times I had to put my sweaty fingers on that scanner and with my first thumbprint only it was not reading and I was like and I told her I'm so sorry my hands sweat and in the past when this has happened I've told others like in some centers in India they would be like oh okay you take some time or you come later or you know like they would they would just not acknowledge it or ignore it or make a face but here this girl was so friendly she was like hey no problem happens to me also and then she got this uh, tissue box she just gave me the tissue box she gave me sanitizer and she's like um keep using the sanitizer and the tissue because the sanitizer dries out your fingers a little bit and just you can keep using as many tissues as you want don't worry at all because i kept apologizing every time i did a, this thing i had to wipe my hand so i was using so many tissues and i'm like i'm so sorry i'm so sorry but she's like don't apologize it's okay it's okay you can get it done and that calmed me down and made the process so much easier so i just wish people were a little more sensitive or not even sensitive about it like they were just more accepting and normal about these things one last benefit of having sweaty hands is uh, your hands are always moisturized so they're always soft when your hands are dry trust me when my hands are dry okay they are like baby soft and uh, i've never had to buy hand cream lotion nothing on my hands and i'm someone who washes vessels a lot okay so i'm using all the harsh harsh things but my hands are still soft so on the day my hands are dry and people touch my hands they're like oh my god your hand is so soft i'm like thanks it's the sweat on days that you're so frustrated about your sweaty hands just remember that you're saving money by not using any hand cream and all that jazz let's talk about sweaty feet my feet are sweating so much right now that they are literally slipping on the floor that i'm sitting on for sweaty feet i've realized that the best thing to do is to wear socks with shoes if you want to maintain it through the day um that makes things very easy but and that worked in school for me because we had to wear shoes and socks like every single day but obviously when you get to college and my we used to wear kurtas and salvas i couldn't wear shoes and socks right so i used to wear chappals thinking that it will be airy like it will air out my feet worst idea okay because um when your feet are sweaty your surface is wet right so if there's any dust any pollution all of it comes and sticks onto your feet and then it becomes black black and your feet look disgusting by the end of the day and you're praying that nobody sees your feet because it looks really bad okay and then i tried wearing these um ballerinas but because my feet are sweaty the sweaty foot and the the sweaty foot would rub against the material of the shoe and then give me rashes and shoe bite so i discovered the best solution was to wear crocs now i know everyone hates crocs it has such a bad reputation people make jokes about it it's such a meme but trust me it has been a life saver for me and crocs are really helpful because it has all those holes to give that ventilation to let your foot breathe and let your, your feet also cool down even when it's sweaty and hot but also it's covered enough to make sure that your feet are still protected and uh, none of the dirt etc gets attached to your feet so through college i just wore crocs i know that an issue a lot of people also have with crocs other than the fact of calling it ugly is that it's quite expensive but crocs last for a really really long time i think they cost anywhere between 1500 to 2000 rupees but that one pair will last you for three four years current crocs i've had for three years and they're still going strong and i wear them literally every day everywhere especially if you live in a place like mangalore mumbai etc where it also rains a lot super helpful because it's a rain resistant shoe and the water will drain out and you will feel all good as compared to wearing chappals my only suggestion would be to get a color that you feel can go with every outfit my first crocs that i bought in college i think was purple color light purple so i didn't even care that it would clash with outfits i just wore it with everything one of the solutions that i used to get was to put 
powder on my feet and then put my socks on but sometimes my foot would sweat so much that it would when I would remove my socks it would be like a paste almost inside so that didn't work for me another solution that was suggested was this uh, Lumi foot cream that you could put it was supposed to be very absorbent and antiperspirant but uh, the one I my sister gave me its smell is horrible <laughs> so I stopped using it generally overall I've been able to manage with my crocs itself the only issue is when you go shoe shopping and it, I like I find it so 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 embarrassing uh, when I could take my foot out and it's all sweaty and I have to put my foot in another brand new shoe like uh, that time again I remember I went shopping with my sister okay in the US and I was so embarrassed to take my foot out because my feet were sweating so much and I thought and I had to put it inside a shoe to try it on and I thought the shoe lady would be like disgusted so I remember I took my sister aside I took, quickly took my shoe out I had tissues with me I just dab 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 cleaned my foot nicely tried to dry it as much as possible and then only tried on the shoe just if you are planning to go shoe shopping just on that day wear shoes and socks and go and then you can just manage with everything else so one tip is if you have very sweaty feet don't wear very delicate high heel shoes because I've worn this and my foot has slipped and broken shoes because the foot is like this right and so when you slip because of that force the shoe only breaks and I've broken shoes like this one bright side to having sweaty feet is you never have dry foot you never have cracked foot I've never had to apply any moisturizer to my foot ever so that helps and also when I go for pedicures and stuff they always say oh your foot is so soft and I'm like thanks it's the sweat Tonu has joined me hi buddy Yes, you want to be in the video? You want to, okay, you want to join me? Yes, come. Come. Oh, no. Okay, you want to sit here? Okay, fine. You can sit. And finally, sweaty underarms. This has caused me the most embarrassment in my life. And it was the reason that I started wearing a lot of dark colored shirts as you can see um, completely avoiding gray shirts those are the worst like the color shows up like even if you sweat one one drop also it will show up immediately so I don't wear any grays I mainly wear blacks or darker colors it was embarrassing in school it was embarrassing in college it was embarrassing everywhere and I remember once oh I remember I brought this really pretty light orange kurta and I had to wear it for a Diwali Mela and I was excited but I was so 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 worried about sweat patches showing up to the point that I was contemplating sticking pads onto the inner part of my kurta so that it would just absorb the sweat and I didn't do that but I did um, put uh, tape up cotton pads and then put it in there in the hopes that it would absorb the excess sweat turns out it did not my main issue with sweaty underarms was also not just the fact of the look but also of the smell your arms your feet your face it doesn't the the sweat smell doesn't come as much uh, because they are open areas there's no hair growing on it so there's no bacteria formation that uh, combines with the sweat to give out that sweat smell you know but underarms <coughs> so I've tried a lot of things I've tried putting powder uh, did not help as much I've tried putting all the roll-ons pers antiperspirants etc they help to, but to a fair degree beyond a point the sweat is so much that it overpowers everything one thing that really helped is putting neosporin on my underarms that did not stop the sweat but it helped cut down the smell a lot but after a point even that was not as effective and then i did one thing that really 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 changed the game for underarm sweating for me which is getting laser hair removal all my life i've been shaving waxing etc but even with shaving the uh, those stumps of the hair are still there right so that's where like a lot of whatever those that, that um, those skin cells would be there and the smell would no matter how much I would scrub during my shower the smell would still be there but with a uh, laser hair reduction actually I don't know why they call it removal because the hair doesn't completely go it just reduces a lot with the laser procedure right from the first time that I did it it became so sparse and almost non-existent 
that it was shocking like i think i've done at least two to four sessions so far and now my underarm hair is completely gone almost and with that even the smell has reduced so much i would say by 90 percent i have not had any issue with underarm smell like i know um laser treatment is expensive but it's a one-time investment i feel if you have the money if you're earning by yourself if you have some money you can put aside and you sweat a lot like this is the best 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 investment you can do um in it's money well worth spent and i think you just need two or three like i had very thick hair but if you don't have that much thick hair i think just one or two sessions also will be enough huge game changer also because the hair is not there um i feel like when i sweat it doesn't remain sweaty for a long time like i feel that my clothes absorb it or the air absorbs it so it dries up pretty fast whereas if you have underarm hair um the sweat still clings on to the hair and that makes you feel like wet 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 the whole day so that's another uncomfortable factor so yeah i cannot recommend this enough the treatment was another thing that has really helped is um this rexona uh shower clean dry and fresh confidence this smells very very nice and the smell lasts for a very long time and also because now i don't have any hair on my underarm it's easy to apply i soon after my shower i did and i feel fresh the entire day dry i mean i still sweat it's not like i've stopped sweat completely but the smell and the uncomfortable feeling has been cut down a lot um there are other uh, underarm roll-ons the chemist at play one is also good um it has aha and i think lactic acid i got the aqua one but i just didn't like the smell because it was a very strong like men's perfume so if you can get the unscented one i think that would be better yeah so those were all my tips for managing the sweatiness that occurs every day i hope this video helped and please please if you have any tips please share them in the comments because i'm sure it's going to help a lot of people i hope you have a fantastic year time ahead let me know what other videos you would like to see me do i have a couple of ideas but it would really help me if you could let me know what you want to see so i can plan it accordingly um anyway i have, hope you have a great week ahead uh, if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe it'll really help out the channel and also share this video with your friends who you think it could help out see you bye Oh, no, baby. Okay, good.